One parent I spoke with says she's disgusted by the charges against this former teacher. She's happy he no longer works here at the high school. Well, of course, that's shocking. It's really close to home. Upset. Um somewhat angry actually. The Johnson County DA charged 28 year old Nicholas Prutzman with two counts of sexual exploitation of a child. He worked for Gardner Edgerton High School teaching automotive maintenance and repair in this building during his five and a half years with the district. Frank Moore says Prutzman was one of his son's favorite teachers. Here my son's been in his class. It really made you start to think about some of the things my son told me how he would you know hey in the summer or whenever, bring your car in, bring it over. I'll help you help you work on it, things like that. And that just kind of made me shudder. You know, I'm like, holy cow, is this is this how he operates? A police report indicates investigators believe Prutzman used computer equipment to solicit or exploit girls who he knew were underage. That report lists two victims, 16 and 17 year old girls. I am super proud of the student who spoke out and basically it's protecting everybody in the in the district. The district says police alerted them about the allegations December 12th, and that was Prutzman's last day in the classroom. In a statement to Fox 4, the district encouraged students to speak up in situations like this. This is a resolution approved by the Board of Education on January 19th to fire Prutzman. I'm very thankful for what they did. I'm very thankful for them taking it super seriously. Johnson County jail records show Prutzman was booked and released on a $200,000 bond. We called and emailed Prutzman's attorneys, but have not heard back. His next court appearance is January 31st. Reagan Porter, Fox 4, working for you.